Hey guys, it's Dr. Barrett. I'm here in Beverly Hills and I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I wanted to talk to you today about trashy tummy tucks. You know, the other day when I was at the beach, I saw some trashy tummy tucks, all right? And I was like, this drives me crazy. Why are people out there doing this kind of work on people's bodies? You're not working on a car. It doesn't get traded in after two years. This is somebody's body. I developed a list of things that I call, or a collection of photos called trashy tummy tucks. Basically, I want you to know what's bad work. I get a lot of people that call, they're like, what's your price of the tummy tuck, right? Who cares about the price? This is your body, okay? You know what's gonna happen if you find the lowest price? You're gonna get stuff like this. You're gonna get stuff like each one of these as we go through. Anybody can take off extra skin, right? But can you make a extra low incision? Can you make a super durable plication that lasts you for the rest of your life? Can you make a realistic belly button so that when you're wearing a bikini and you're wearing a two piece, no one looks at you and says, oh, she had a tummy tuck or he had a tummy tuck. Okay, so let's go through the photos. Trashy tummy tuck number one, okay? Belly button, horribly scarred, wide scarring here, okay? All of this wide scar, the incision was closed under tension. The belly button is too low. It's probably floated, disconnected completely in the first place. Um, this just speaks to, you know, as an amateur, right? Someone, someone tried to overdo the tummy tuck. Let me get it as far down as possible, right? That's a mistake. You gotta keep it under the right amount of tension. Belly button. Scarred circular belly button. A belly button's not a circle, folks. It has a hood on the top, it has a gentle slope on the bottom, it's a dynamic structure. It tethers into the center of the abdomen. Study your anatomy. Look at the Greek sculptures. Look at the Romans, they did even better than the Greeks. This is a circle on a flat canvas, okay? We're not even talking entry level kindergarten artistry here. And not only that, the scarring is pretty thick and bad. Another thing to note, check out this vertical line down here on the bottom. Somebody couldn't get the skin all the way down. So where the belly button used to be, they had to make a little vertical line. That's a big problem, okay? So if you see this, that's just poor planning. You guys, this is a man. This is a male tummy tuck, okay? And he has a high cut 1980s bikini pattern, all right? So. You ever watch Baywatch where the, where the bikini comes up the side, you know? He's not gonna wear that. He's gonna wear trunks. He's gonna wear trunks across the side here. Poor planning. Make a scar straight across for men and for most women these days. Okay, this is a disaster. This is, this is wound dehiscence and it's necrosis, all right? This is why I don't put in a compressive binder after my operation. What happened here is there was a loss of blood supply to the incision. So the surgeon was too aggressive probably did liposuction on the skin flap, um, and then probably didn't pay attention to post-operative compression, and this skin died, and the whole incision opened up. Big problem for this patient, it has to all be redone. Hopefully there's enough tissue, it could be brought back down and treated, hopefully it's not infected. It's a disaster, you don't want this to happen. You sign up for a surgery, you want a good things to happen, and we, don't want, we want to avoid complications like this. This one, <laughs> This is, honestly, this is something straight out of med school. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. It's a V, it's a super high scar, and it's super hypertrophic. Not only that, but the belly button looks like a vertical slit. She had enough laxity where there could have been a low incision down here. It doesn't have to be shaped like a V, it could be straight across. And the belly button should be round. It shouldn't be a slit, a vertical slit. I wanna show you one more thing on the inside, okay? Part of the tummy tuck operation is there is a plication that occurs. Plication is when we bring the muscles together, We'll show you what that looks like in a slide here. We bring the muscles together to increase your core strength, repaired rectus diastasis, and it's done with very careful suturing to the fascia, uh, one over the other. I do it in two layers. At the very least, you have to do one solid layer with lots of small little bites to get that back together. Otherwise, it opens and you have problems. So this is, this is somebody, somebody put this on their Instagram, which is insane to me. This is their example of their plication. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven passes with the suture. I'm probably doing about 40 or 50 different loops of the plication. This is just total amateur hour. I don't know who this is, but this is garbage. This is tummy tuck trash, okay? I, I'm really sad for this patient. This plication maybe lasts one week or two weeks before it opens up or relaxes down. If you get a, a great price on this, does it really matter? These results, they're trash. Take it up, toss it out. Don't do that to yourself. If you have any more questions about tummy tucks, check out my website, Body by Barrett, and feel free to leave your comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, pay attention to that belly button.